Okay, so far I showed you where to find the listings of math trades and how to add an item. Just real simple. The real uh, power in the math trades for the users is through the online want list generator. Generally, the um, moderators now are telling us that the online want list generator is required. If you go to this wiki page, it'll explain to you how to find the tool, how to log into it. I'm not going to do that here. What I'm going to do is show you how to use it. There's a couple different sections here. The first thing it does is tell you it's, wel it's going to welcome you. It's going to give you a little tutorial on what the icons all mean here. Any math trade that you're actively in is going to be listed first. Other active trades will be listed next. And then previous trades you've participated in, or previous math trades that have occurred, will be listed down here. Excuse me. One of the first things you want to do is sync the online want list generator to your BGG collection. Now this may take a while depending on the size of your collection, your internet connection, and all those types of things. I'm going to give it a few seconds here to sync. It shouldn't take too long. Once it's done, I can go back to the home page. If I had, wasn't in this math trade right now, it would be listed here. Since I've already added items, it's showing up under my active math trades. It tells you how many items are in since it was last synced by the moderator, how many items are mine, and how many users there are in this math trade overall. It also tells you how much time is left to add games to the list. Now if I click on this, it's going to take me into a listing of all the games that are being offered. And I don't want to do that just yet, and I'll explain why in a second. What I want to do here is show you how to add games. Now, one of the ways that we showed, I showed you earlier was to do it right from the geek list in the Add Item button, but from here, you can add it by clicking on this icon. Now, it's going to pull all of your games that are listed for trade from your BGG collection. And any one of these I could add to the geek list just by clicking on Add This to the geek list. What it does is it fires up a new window and allows you to change the image ID. It allows you to put in your condition statement here, shipping, etc. Those things can all be placed in here. Once you're happy with it, click Save, and it will be added to the geek list. The other thing that this was really great for is that if you've been in previous math trades, you can hit this pull down menu and it'll show all the other math trades that you've participated in. You can go to a previous math trade and it will give you all of your information already preset. So now if I wanted to add Shogun to this um, math trade, I just have to hit add to this geek list. All that information drops in right away. I just check it over. Yep, yep, yep. Everything is the same. Great. Hit save. It's in. Saves you a lot of time. You can add items very quickly. Now, if something's not on your for trade collection, it's going to give you a little warning. Eve Conquest is telling me, whoops, I don't see it there. Maybe you traded away, and I did trade it away, so this is great. Let me know. I can just ignore this. I can ignore this. Okay. So let's go back out to the online want list generator home. Now what I want to do, let's say I've added a bunch of games. After the moderator syncs the list to the online want list generator, your games are going to start showing up in this online want list generator. They're going to show up in the geek list as soon as you add them, but they may not show up right away here. In fact, they won't show up right away here. They'll show up after the moderator syncs it. And depending on the moderator, the syncing is going to happen at different, uh, with different frequency. Some moderators sync all the time because they work in front of a computer. Some moderators don't have that sort of computer access, and so it's freaked, um, less frequently synced up. I'm going to click on the name of the math trade, and it's going to take me to step three here, showing me all the games that are listed. Now, since I've been in here before, the only game that's showing up is the last game on the list. It hasn't been resynced. So what I need to do is click here, because this is only going to show me items added since I last viewed this page. So I'm going to click here, and now it's going to fill in the entire list. It's 
starting with item number one. This might take it a few seconds, so I'm going to let this populate here. Again, you get a little uh, some statistics up here, which is nice. There is some color coding you're going to see. Want to play, previously owned, you own it, want to trade, etc., etc. As you'll see right away, Imperial is highlighted with blue because that's something that I already have in my collection. It's a game I already own. Same with Alhambra. Battlestar Galactica is a game that I've owned previously. And you'll start to understand what these mean as you go through and you see items from your own list. Now let's say I wanted to add, let's say I want to add Arena Roma 2 to my list. I was going to click on the add button. And when I say add to my list, I'm saying that I want to acquire this game in a trade for one of my games. I would click on add and it brings up all the games that I'm offering in this math trade. I can say what would I take for Arena Roma 2. All I have to do is select the game that I would trade it for and click save. I'm going to cancel that right now. 